Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys have really been enjoying my comparison videos So I thought I would do one more. So for today's video We're gonna be doing the Nano Speedy versus the Palm Springs mini backpack quite a few people have been asking me to compare these two bags I feel like they're probably on the top of people's LV wish lists my only concern of comparing them is just because they're so different but We'll still just compare it anyway, so let's just get into it. So like with all my comparison videos, we're going to start with the general overview. This will just go by really quick. It's just for people that haven't really looked into this bag or only briefly. So we'll just start with the Nano Speedy. So obviously, they only have it in the monogram canvas with the Vachetta leather. Like I always say, I just, uh, I really want them to come out with a Nano Speedy with every single canvas. Imagine if this was in a Damier Azur. Oh, it would be so cute. But anyways, so this is the front of the bag. As you can see on the Vachetta leather with the handles, it does have this like red trim right over here to kind of seal it together. And then obviously the back of it looks exactly the same. This is what the sides look like. So it has the Vachetta trim all around and then Vachetta right here. And then this is what the bottom looks like. And this is kind of like the length of the handles. I think it's probably about maybe maybe like three inches or so from here to here. And then lastly, it does have these straps. So the strap is not removable. That's probably the number one complaint that people have is the fact that they don't have the option to remove it or not remove it. If they re-release the Nano Speedy with removable straps, I honestly would buy another Nano Speedy. I'm not even kidding you. It's just so cute and like... How perfect and then also really quick so the design of this nano speedy does have a couple differences so if you find a lot of nano speedies on the vintage slash resale market the handles are i feel like a lot longer that you can actually comfortably hold it like this and obviously with the vintage one the straps are removable and the last difference is that with the vintage one i actually find that the actual what is this like the base of the bag is actually a lot shorter so you see how this has like a length from here to here i honestly feel like maybe you can cut off maybe a quarter of that off but that's just what i've seen in pictures i've never seen a real vintage one like in person it's just from all the videos i've watched that's what it looks like so yeah and then obviously just inside of course it's just one main compartment it has the tab and everything like that so the inside is brown it's not red or anything like that like with the damier of being regular speedy the interior is red so yeah so that's the overview of the nano speedy and then next i do have the palm springs mini backpack i feel like you can tell that it is stuffed it's because i did use this today and i do have stuff inside but we'll go inside afterwards so as you can tell it is the monogram canvas with obviously gold hardware and then it has the black treated leather i honestly feel like if they came out with this exact bag but instead of black they use just fachetta leather oof i feel like it would go crazy like everybody would want it honestly like imagine how cute that would be so this is the front of the bag it does have one main compartment with the zipper that is exposed and then it has a little pocket right over here and it has the little black tab and then this is the back of the bag so let me just move the straps out of the way so you can properly see it but as you can see there are a little bit of lines right over here it honestly adds this like really nice cushion or padding on it the bottom it has the same lines and then this is what it looks like on top and then these straps are removable there's four little holes right over here that hold onto the straps so you can just take it off like so like this oh and then another little thing is that this little tab right here is absolutely pointless i've heard some people say they put like cash or lip balm in here and yeah i just to get in and out of this is just too tedious for me uh, see even just showing you is really hard to get in that yeah i don't put anything in here maybe like if i found a penny on the floor or something I, I could put it in there but i don't know so this is the palm springs mini okay so let's just do the really fun part really quick and what fits inside of this bag so i'm basically just going to show you everything that i have in here and then we're just going to see how much of my essential stuff in here can fit in here just so you can kind of gauge the size capacity difference Alrighty. so with the palm springs mini there is just one main compartment over here and then there is a small size pocket that's with the fabric lining inside that I'll show you as we dive into it so let me just show you everything that I have in here so I have my skims face mask and then I have my Purell hand sanitizer I have my key holder the six ring one and then I have a milk lip balm 
I have my wallet and my phone, so I switched up my wallet again. I just like to switch things up, so people are like, that's different from your wallet in the last video. It's because I just changed it, and then this wallet actually... Ouch! <laughs> this wallet actually houses my phone in it too, so it's a half wallet, half phone case. And then I have just this sample that I got from Drunk Elephant. It's this mini travel size body lotion. And then I have my AirPods for when I go grocery shopping or stuff like that. I don't like people talking to me, so I put my AirPods in. <laughs> and then I have my um, key sunglasses. Let me just show you which sunglasses I have. So I have these ones. It's like the Desi Perkins collab with the purple lenses. I think super pretty. And then that's it. So it's like this. So like I said, there is one little pocket on the inside on the back. You can probably fit maybe, well, my whole hand can fit in, well, not my whole hand, probably about 75% of my hand can fit inside the pocket. So you can see like the depth, the pocket probably goes about this deep, like right over here just frame of reference so that's everything in this bag so i'm just gonna put in like the essentials first because i highly doubt these two bags have the same capacity so let's just start with the essentials so let me start with my key holder i'm gonna put that in here i'll put it flat most likely this is not gonna fit inside but let's just try okay there's there's literally no possible way to make this work <laughs> even if i angle it down so i'm just gonna take it out and let's pretend you have a card holder or something like that so i'm taking this out and then i know i can fit my phone in here i know in my very first nano speedy video i said you can't fit in your phone but if you push it down you can make it work it's just i don't like the idea of like pushing it down into it that's just me being like really finicky i like a bag that i can put my phone at ease not by like having to angle it and then push it down but that's just me so my phone fits and then hand sanitizer is a must lip balm is a must lotion airpods face mask i don't think my sunglasses can fit in here yeah i don't want to break them so the only things that i couldn't fit was my wallet and my sunglasses but it could fit everything else and it does still have quite a bit of space in here if you have a card holder there's definitely room for a card holder if you want to put even maybe four more lipsticks in here you could totally do that obviously the palm springs mini can even fit in a small water bottle the nano speed can't unless you have like a super tiny arrowhead travel size one if you haven't seen my palm springs mini review i show a bunch of different things that can fit inside a palm springs mini so i'll just link it up here if you haven't checked that out yet i really go in depth on the palm springs mini that's why i'm just kind of running through it in this video so let me just talk about the straps really quick so the pro about the palm springs mini backpack is is that not only are the straps all removable but they also are adjustable so a lot of people have actually told me that this little circle leather thing that holds the straps together kind of like a little belt strap does tend to break just over time when you use it a lot so that part does kind of worry me just because i don't know if you can see that but it's actually held together by literally like one or two Thin pieces of string however a subscriber has told me that if you bring it into Louis Vuitton they actually do repair this little loop for you I don't know if they do it for free or if they charge you so I mean hopefully I never have to find out but there is that option which is really really nice that you can get it fixed whereas unlike the nano speedy like I said the strap is not only not removable but it isn't adjustable as well so it kind of sucks for people that are either shorter or taller this could fall on you and a really weird spot alrighty so I'm just gonna cover a couple little facts about these two bags so I'm just gonna start with the Palm Springs mini so if you don't know that this is actually their new revised version they did have an older version where the canvas flap right over here actually covered the zipper and a lot of customers complained that when they opened and closed the zipper it kept rubbing against the canvas so thankfully they revised it so now the zipper is fully exposed it's not rubbing on anything which is really really nice another thing about this is that um, my backpack is actually made in the US for me personally I don't mind that but I do know a lot of people are sticklers on the made in France thing and that's totally fine I could understand it kind of keeps with the whole like you know like luxury magic like it's from Europe and stuff like that so I'm all for that so what I found out is that I don't know this might put some people off and it's fine I mean it kind of bothers me a little bit but not to the point of that i want to return it so the palm springs mini backpacks that are made in the us the handle on the top is actually off center and i don't mean it's like 
wibbly wobbly like on the left or the right side so it is in the center of the top but it's actually more towards the back if you can see that do you see how there's maybe let's say two thirds right over here and then it's a third up so if you get a palm springs mini backpack made in france this handle is actually going to be exactly in the center so i honestly don't know if it's a defect or if maybe like the made in usa their measurements are just slightly wrong but i was reading a couple back forms and then a lot of people were saying that the palm springs mini made in the u.s is actually more towards the back and then i was like oh Oh my goodness is this true and then i looked at my backpack and it's 100 percent true so i'm going to show you the side profile of it so if you can see that the strap handle is actually slightly to the back if it was perfectly in the center it'd probably be where this little crest is right over here like slightly more inward but yeah so that's a couple little facts about that i have heard other people say that their tabs over here are not really embossed is that the word or pressed deeply so just one of my little tips when you're buying honestly any bag especially a luxury bag is to always look at it before you buy it make sure all the zippers are working make sure the hardware is good make sure there's no stitching coming off and then most importantly and make sure there's no creasing on the leather especially if the bag is brand new don't just buy it because it's the only one there and it's exclusive or whatever if it's not in perfect condition and it's brand new do not waste two thousand dollars on a bag it, ha it should be perfect if you're spending that kind of money you know what i mean so just always make sure to look that's a little tip if your bag is made in the u.s if you just want to check it out always look but i do know they do make palm springs mini backpacks from i think spain france and the u.s so yeah Alrighty, so just a couple of facts about the Nano Speedy that I have. So it is made in France. So the little tabby right here is where you can see where it's made from. So I got this bag in the middle of March and it's now about the end of July. And I probably use this around once a week, once every two weeks at least. And the Vachetta honestly still looks super, super new. So you can see like this. There's really no solid patina on it yet. Even the straps as well nothing really honey or golden about them and on top of that there is no creasing on them as well but like i said i am very careful when i handle brand new vachetta i make sure my hands are dry i'll even not put lotion on it like i'll wait to hold it and then whatever i'm done doing then i'll put lotion on my hands same thing with hand sanitizer i make sure my hands are dry i'm just i'm very careful the alma bb really traumatized me on how stupid i can be with brand new vachetta so learn my lesson alrighty so now the main question between these two which one would i pick so i have been wanting the nano speedy since forever and when i say forever i mean about three three and a half years i've been chasing this bag okay this was all i wanted but now after having both of these if you're trying to decide between which one should you get first the palm springs a thousand percent okay actually see this is the tough part if these are both on your wish list and you find a nano speedy i would just buy the nano speedy only because it's just it's so hard to get like the palm springs mini is sold out but it's actually pretty easy to get you just need to go into the store at the right time and you can get it whereas the nano speedy will literally take you at least a couple months to get this is just it's so hard whereas the palm springs mini it's hard to get but it's it's accessible if you want it you can probably max get it within a month you just probably have to wait a little bit you know what i mean but if you only want to buy one bag and you want it to be like your kind of everyday bag i honestly would go with the palm springs mini i know some people do have complaints that because it's not vachetta and that it's black it's hard for them to match things but for me personally i think because it's black and brown it's actually a really good neutral piece another reason why i would pick the palm springs mini is because obviously the capacity you can put so much in here you probably put a mini notebook in here if you have an ipad mini you can honestly fit in here i'm pretty pretty confident that it would fit in here but only the mini you can put a water bottle in here i love that the straps are removable so you can just have it to do one strap you can do two straps like the backpack one way that i actually really do like to hold it is just kind of as a shoulder bag so let me show you so to use it as a shoulder bag you're just going to take one strap and just hook it to the other side 
and you're just gonna hold it like this and then now it'll just kind of fall against your body really really cute like i know this kind of looks funny but trust me it looks so cute when worn like this i'll try to insert a picture of me wearing it like this so you can kind of see so i can't really say any real cons at least for me personally just because i think this is a great bag i love that it can carry a lot it matches with a lot of things and it's just super super practical i know some people think that going in and out of a backpack is kind of a little difficult but i feel like any crossbody with a zipper you're kind of doing the same motion as it falls against your body so yeah i really really like the palm springs mini but i'm not trying to say that the nano speedy is a bad bag to get i think it's super cute but i definitely think the nano speedy is more for aesthetic Obviously, you can't fit a lot in here, but if you're very minimalistic, if you want something to kind of just grab and go and just stick like lip gloss keys and a card holder, then this is a really great bag. It's You can dress this up, you can dress this down, but with the Palm Springs Mini, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I really think it just has to depend on your lifestyle and what kind of life that you're living <laughs> so yeah and then as always we're gonna go over the price really quick so for the nano speedy it's going to be one thousand one hundred and eighty dollars i do know that the price increased i think by 50 bucks during the last price increase the nano speedy before because i used to want it all the time so i'd always be on the website it definitely was one thousand one hundred and ten dollars Actually, I think it was $1,110 and then it got a price increase and turned into $1,130 and then the new price increase is $1,180. So it's been having maybe like a $20 increase and then a $50 price increase. So I expect it to hit $2,000 at one point or another, which I honestly think is a little bit ridiculous. But And then the Palm Springs Mini is $1,990. So, I mean, I think that's reasonable for what this bag is. It's a mini bag, which obviously has that premium already because it's a mini version. But on top of that, this is just so practical so multi-faceted like it can be a backpack travel go to every day dressing it up dressing it down yeah i just i really really enjoy this i definitely don't regret this purchase at all video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this other comparison video if you guys have any ideas of other bags in my collection that you would like me to review or compare against each other feel free to leave them down in the comments and i'll reply to you guys as soon as i can and then like always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel i know i just recently reached 2k which is honestly super super exciting i'm honestly just grateful just hitting 2k like if it goes up that's great if it doesn't i'm honestly just really happy with all of you guys that are watching i just really appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed to me so far so thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys